In this section, we're going to look at multi-level lists. Now, I've got a list here, and basically the way the list is structured, I've got an introduction to Microsoft Word, and then really these items here should be sort of indented in some way, because it's like this is chapter one, this over here is chapter two, chapter three, chapter four, etc. And these really should be sort of subheadings. Now, sorry, if I just undo that. Now, if I select the entire list, and uh, the way I do that is I click just before it, scroll down, click at the end here, but while I'm clicking, I press the shift key, and that will select the entire list. Now, you could just click here to have bullet points, but the trouble is, you know, everything's at the same level, and the same way if I clicked on numbering, everything's at the same level. So I'll take that off. What we want to do is to go over here, which is what's called a multi-level list. So if I click on the multi-level list icon, there's various sort of formats we can use. To illustrate the point, let's click on this one here. And at first, it doesn't look like anything's changed. But if I select these items here, which are like sort of sub sort of units, if you like, if I go to where it says uh, indent here or increase indent, look what happens. It now says 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6, then 2. So if I go back here and indent these, and I carry on for the rest of the document in a similar fashion. As you can see, what we've now got is a multi-level list. So this is chapter one, and these are the items in chapter one. This is chapter two. These are the items in chapter two, and so on and so forth. Now, if I select the entire list again, and then click on the down arrow here where it says multi-level list, if I want to, I can select maybe a different format like this one here. And now, if you notice, it's chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, and the sub items are like A, B, C, D, E, F, etc. If I go back here, I can select other formats. So I could have something like this. If I unselect it, you can see it looks like that. So this is basically what a multi level list looks like. It's um, instead of being like a single level, you've got the main sort of header, if you like, then subheaders, for want of a better expression. You've got these sort of indented and using a different, uh, a different format. If I go back here to the multi-level list, you know, we can use other things. So for instance, let's say I wanted the word chapter to appear. I could have chapter one has these things in it, chapter two has these things in it, and so forth. So again, I'll select the entire list here, Go back to the multi-level list icon and we'll select another one just to illustrate the point. So in this case, we've got sort of the Roman sort of uh, one, two, three, etc. And then we've got A, B, C. So this is how you create multi-level lists. Very, very simple and very effective.